but he's now facing accusations that his laptop includes numerous suggestive images of underage girls. Rudy Giuliani, the former mayor of New York, obviously a close advisor, to President Trump, very involved in the administration. He was on Newsmax last night. He also shared a text message between former Vice President Joe Biden and his son, Hunter Biden, surrounding all of this sick and twisted behavior, including FaceTiming naked between Hunter and an unnamed 14-year-old girl. This was Giuliani last night on Newsmax Roll One. Let's face it, it's Biden, the father, who's on the ballot in two weeks. Anything else other than what we've seen so far tying yeah, him two, to two, Hunter's business? Yeah, two major things that I found. In, a, in addition to this, which basically says that uh, Biden was getting 50 percent of the bribe money, which makes sense, actually. Uh, there's a there's a. Um, well, this is really a very, very sensitive one. There's a uh, text message to his father. In which he says the following and he's discussing um, he's discussing his uh, sister in law who for quite some time was his lover. And he says, uh, she, she told my therapist that I was sexually inappropriate. This would be with a unnamed 14-year-old girl. When she says that I FaceTime naked with the unnamed 14-year-old girl, and the reason I can't have her out to see me is because I'll walk around naked smoking crack, talking Tom girls on FaceTime. When she was pressed, she said that the unnamed 14-year-old girl Never said anything like that, but the bottom line is that I created and caused a very unsafe environment for the kids. Uh, this is supported by numerous pictures of underage uh, girls. So, in, uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, I, uh, that is, look, that's dynamite stuff, uh, and I've seen I it. I turned it over to the... To, Let, to the you turned, turned it, you it turned over, it over to, the, to, to the Delaware State Police, correct? Yes, yesterday, Bernie Carrick and I turned it over to the Delaware State Police because we're right. very uncomfortable with this. So we're very uncomfortable with the fact that these underage girls were not protected. So sick stuff, right? Sick stuff. And again, it doesn't, you know, imply that, that Joe was complicit in the underage girl stuff. That's not what anyone is saying. He's aware of it, though. And there's the emails and everything else that, that involves the scandal and and frauding the government out for the family the biden family's benefit but apparently there's there's tons more a trove they they use the word trove of sexual videos and images on his laptop some of which could lead to criminal criminal offenses and again i mean just the 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 copy from that text i'll read it again it was on the screen there but she told my therapist that i was sexually inappropriate with blank girl when she says that i facetimed naked with her and the reason i can't have her out to see me is because i'll walk around naked smoking crack and talking to girls on facetime when she was pressed she said that blank girl never said anything like that but the bottom line is that i created and caused a very unsafe environment for the kids and joe biden's inaction on this and so much else around his son who again troubled there's plenty of people out there who have kids who are going through some 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 horrible crap. And it's not easy, I'm sure, as a parent. <clears throat> and if it was just that, if that's all that we were talking about, and the, the big revelation here is that Hunter, Hunter Biden's gross and disgusting, we already knew that. We already knew that he was into drugs, that he had weird familiar relations with spouses and 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 whatnot like thanksgiving's got to be so odd at the biden family but but we knew that stuff and that's not necessarily <clears throat> excuse me in in and of itself damning for former vice president joe biden that just means maybe he's not a great parent maybe he just drew the short straw and his son sucks but all the other stuff that does implicate joe biden using his power using his influence his position to benefit himself his son his family lie to the country all of that is extremely damning. And then keeping quiet about this other stuff is awful. But <clears throat> we'll see where this goes. There, there's supposed to be Steve Bannon has come out. Others have come out and said that there's more information coming that will come out before the debate, which is just two days away. Less than, really, by the time you're probably watching this show. 
And the FBI, what's frustrating about this, and we've talked about it before this week and, and even last, is the FBI has had this information. And now they have the laptop, they have more, but they, ha- they have had information on this, but they didn't investigate it. Because like our foreign adversaries, everyone in the intel and law enforcement community wants someone like Biden in power because he's weak, ineffective, and they have dirt on him. Never has a candidate been so corrupt, or at least so obviously so. Politicians are corrupt. I get it. Uh, you know, I don't think anyone here is naive enough to think that, that there are politicians out there that are saints. Hopefully there's some good ones, but, but it's a game for them. But this is blatant. What happened with Obama, Biden, and senior level intel and law enforcement officials basically staging a coup against President Trump back in 2016, blatant. This, what he did, blatant. And then never has, with all of these accusations, a candidate been so silent on everything. They're just literally not saying anything and playing the, let's just go turtle in the shell, be super quiet, say nothing, hope it goes away. Maybe something else will pop up that kind of steals the the limelight in the news cycle. But as I said earlier, their silence is deafening, folks. Yes, there's been one or two mentions. It's a smear campaign. That's not sufficient. That is not sufficient when the intel and law enforcement community has come out and said this has nothing to do with Russia. This is not disinformation. This did happen without going to the next step and, and indicting or implying anything. They're at least confirming, and everyone is, and the Biden campaign is too, by not saying anything, that this is all real. This did happen. The question now is, what's going to be done about it? Why do we, for a second presidential election in a row, happened in 2016 with Hillary, who had clearly broken laws, and just in that, you know, the the lead up to that election, not including everything her and Bill have done throughout her career, but we had a criminal running for president who damn near almost won. Once again, we find ourselves 13 days out from the election, and we have a candidate who is a criminal who forget the fact that he's been in service for 47 years to this country and has nothing to show for it. That should be damning in and of itself. He should not have become the candidate, but they know they didn't have a good candidate and their whole platform, their whole plan was just anti-Trump and using the swamped, the swamp, excuse me, and corrupt media, corrupt politicians and corrupt just DC writ large to try and create an avalanche and, and, and force Trump out. But again, here we are. Polls have Biden up by <laughs> damn near a thousand points. Trump might as well not show up, according to the, to the major polls. He should just bow out now. Obviously, those are bogus, and not real. There's a lot they don't take into account. There's other polls that I think you should be paying attention more to. We talk about it a lot here on the program, but this is this is ridiculous. America deserves better. Should have gone with Tulsi Gabbard, guys. I'm just telling you. Should have gone with Tulsi. I'm not saying she, she probably has some dirt on her, too. But I, I guarantee you it's not as significant as this. And that there would actually be some, some belief and support behind her. America's under attack. And they're all around us. I'm talking about liberal Democrats. And they're out to destroy everything that we've worked so hard for. Mammoth Nation's here to fight for you. You only get one vote, so let's join forces. We support conservative lawmakers and the causes you hold so dearly. We stand behind our police, veterans, the Second Amendment, and much more. We need your help, so join today.